Here in the Congo, I represent Carbon to Green. Carbon to Green is a Canadian company who is leading in uh, the development of CDM projects, notably in Africa. And the main objective is to collect carbon credit. So what we're trying to do here is to take the degraded land that you'll see in the back here and include the villagers into putting together a plantation of jatropha. Uh, the jatropha tree is a tree that grows in a very ar arid um, soil and is a tree uh, that produces a nut. The nut can then be crushed and produces a substantial quantity of oil. Et cette huile a une capacité huile de, de plus de 75% et qui peut faire que cette, cette, cette huile puisse être utilisée comme ce que l'on appelle aujourd'hui agrocarburant ou biocarburant ou pour la bioénergie. When we are going to villages and pre presenting people, explaining people with the project, they are amazed to discover that we are coming to make a project with their own plant. But they don't know this plant is produce, can produce biofuels. They use it mostly to make soap as, a, as an insecticide or other more traditional uh, capacities. So what we're trying to do here is a very important transfer of technology where we will teach them how to plant on a broader scale. The type of terre we're looking for are the terres that are, disons, non productives. And it could be the terres that have already been tried in agriculture, but that don't have anything to do. They adapt well to the cultures such like as the jatropha, which in itself renews the terre. If, if you space the trees correctly, with the fertilization from the tree itself, you suddenly have soils that are productive. Oui, la population de Nundu va s'intégrer dans le projet inévitablement. D'ailleurs, vous aurez remarqué que quand on voit une nouvelle équipe arriver dans le village, la première question qu'on nous pose, qu'est-ce que vous venez faire ici Est-ce que c'est pour amener un projet People come and see us, they see our vehicle, uh, go up and down the highway as we're looking for land that is suitable for our plantations. And literally, people jump on the truck. They, they want work, they beg for work. Bon, maintenant j'ai besoin de votre projet parce que ça pourra quand même soulager la masse, toute la population d'ici. Le village en entier est content, est content de votre projet. This project is really well accepted because it's not something that we're coming not to, 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 to plant something they don't know. But just they are a little bit amazed that we, we, we would like to plant it to a, to a really a large scale. L'importance s'aperçoit à travers les, les étendues de terre qui seront cultivées, 14 000 hectares, eh bien, avec euh, une cinquantaine de, de villages qui auront accès à l'énergie électrique de manière autonome, eh bien, euh, c'est un projet qui va favoriser uh, a certain development uh, social and economic. De quelle façon? When we're here negotiating for land, we negotiate with the traditional chiefs and we make sure that they understand the project, that they want to be part of the project, that the project will increase their livelihood and their, their quality of life. The 
you don't imagine how it will help Kikwit. First of all, my people here in Kikwit are uh, agriculture, are peasants. Sometimes people will be shocked to see that uh, in the 20th, in 21st century, people live like we were in a primitive uh, state. Avec 130 dollars par habitant par an, c'est ce sont des chiffres qui font pleurer quand euh, on, on, on s'aperçoit que euh, le Congolais, en règle générale, vit en deçà du seuil minimal de pauvreté. L'électricité a barely penetrated this country. Uh, they talk about 2 to 4 percent of the country is actually electrified, which is a very big stumbling block for any hopes of development. Critics might say that bringing uh, electricity to such a traditional way of living might compromise their culture and, and suddenly change their way of living. For me, it's more giving them the opportunity to be part uh, of the broader world. And I don't believe that as Westerners, it should be our decision. We, sh we can only give them the opportunity. Electricity is development and water is life. And we do not have these two uh, things. The electricity here is a problem of uh, infrastructure and a problem of gas oil. We have generators here. Even though they can give uh, electricity 24 hours a day, but the people will not be able to pay. If you are, for example, we're talking about biofuels today, which cost approximately half of uh, the, the current um, price of the, the petrol, I think that will help. With the, the financing through the carbon credits, uh, we can go put a plantation produce biodiesel and then uh, on two fronts reduce the, the greenhouse gas emission by one sequestrating carbon from the tree and, and on the second level to uh, use the biodiesel and substitute it to the diesel they normally use to produce electricity. Here in the Congo I would say 90% of the electricity is produced through generators. So if there is electricity 24 hours a day here in Kikwit I think it will bring development. And electricity will bring water, because here people don't have, don't have water because of the electricity. You have a lot of disease here that are due to, to, um, to dirty water, for example, and that will help already uh, the population. The objective is to produce electricity not only in bigger centers where the oil will be transformed, but bring it back in rural communities and, and really participate in, in a project that would uh, promote rural electrification. Maybe people don't believe so much. Mais il faudrait bien qu'il voit et cette huile va obtenir de la valeur et il va révolutionner, comme je disais tout à l'heure, la région et ça sera une région pilote parce qu'en fait cette, cette expérience n'est pas encore tentée nulle part ailleurs que ici. Carbon to Green as will make an engagement to to buy their crop for 40 years and then after 40 years uh, they can start as entrepreneurs to expand the crops or to to produce their own biodiesel. It's not only a project that will make money, but it's a project that will change a lot of the life of thousands and thousands and thousands of people. The spin-off is going to be unbelievable. People will finally be able to work on their land and make money to be able to survive, to be able to maybe move on from subsistence agriculture. I think that things are changing. I think that Congolese now are understanding that this foreign investment is important and you can really see a desire and, and a, a very welcoming nature of people wanting to be part of globalization.